Hello there, this is Rum Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Toxic women will reveal themselves. Now, last week I shared a video, mirrored a video from Master Yao and Yamache Morris, right? Uh, he was talking about toxic and non-toxic women, right? Um, he listed it as, uh, you know, it was 50-50, but uh, it's probably... It's probably like more like 75, 25 or something or the 80, 20 rule in reverse. Right. But, uh, you know, he was being generous when that's cool. But um, I'm going to tell you what. There are so many toxic women out there, but usually they hide it. And see, one thing Master Yao said in a video and I want to expound upon um, in this one. Is that the toxic women are there, but men are the ones that empower them because we chase them. How many dudes are chasing some woman because she got a fat ass, though? Seriously, and I've said this a thousand times, and y'all know I like a fat ass. I'm, I'm you know, I'm president of the loafer club. You know, lovers of fat asses, right? But how often we chase that fat ass? You know, that woman, she real pretty and stuff. She even telling you what you want to hear at first and find out her personality is toxic. A lot, you know, because we try and get we try and get the food quick. We trying to find out quick. We trying we shoot. We trying to get it quick. But you know what? Hey, you know it's cool if you want to keep it there. You know what you getting into. That's on you. That's on you. I ain't gonna tell you just to wait. But here's the whole point of this um, podcast: If a woman is toxic, it's going to show up at some point. So all a man has to do is. Stay awake. See, a lot of times we get caught up. See, I'm gonna tell you what was those, some of those toxic women. They 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 going to they going to two things. They gonna make love to two parts of your body, right? They going it's gonna be the obvious. They gonna fuck your brains out. They they are going to fuck your brains out. That mean and you know they you ain't gonna have to ask them to suck your motherfucking dick. They gonna do it, right? You know, and that's a general thing. You know, there's always some exceptions, but you know, that's one thing they're gonna do. They're gonna fuck you. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna hit you hard, right? Because especially if you got a little bit of money, if you got a little bit of money or got something that they really want, they're gonna hide their toxic parts. They ain't gonna they gonna show you their best side, right? So you know, first thing they're gonna whip it up on you, right? And unfortunately. Uh, despite guys out here saying, oh, I've been with 100 women, I've been with 300, most guys ain't been with that many women. So if you get a woman, and then the ones they've been with, usually dudes who had low counts, usually, not always, but usually the dudes with low counts, unless they one of those dudes with low counts but high quality, most dudes with low counts just been with women who couldn't really do anything for them, right? Who, you know, they, the women, they had that level of sex appeal that can turn it out. It's basically almost a mutual masturbation session, or as uh, one of my commenters said, pillow princesses, right? So you get this toxic woman, shoot, she put it on you, right? She put it on you, she got you in heaven, you thinking, she making you think you the man, making you think you Mr. Goodbar. Right. And that's cool. That, that's well, I ain't gonna say that's cool. That's it. That it is what it is. I'll put it like that. Right. But then they do something else, too. They make love to your mind. Right. A toxic woman, she, she gonna hide her nature, especially like I say, especially you got some. She gonna stroke your ego. She gonna have you think you the smartest, most handsome. Uh, you know, she gonna make you think you God. Because they, they got, you got something they want. Because they know, they, I'm going to tell you what, all toxic women, even though you'll be hard-pressed to get one to admit it publicly, they all know they toxic. Most, most women are way more introspective than men give them credit for. The women just don't admit it. They just don't want to take account. They know they fucked up. They just don't want to take accountability for it. And, but deep down, when they're in their private moments, that's why most women got low self-esteem, because they know. And they know what they're doing wrong. So, the, you know, they see you, you got it going on. Shoot, so they're going to hide it. And even if you don't have it going on to that extent, they're going to make you think you have it going on to that extent. So, you know, they're they, they going to be like, I'm going to tell you what. 
many toxic women be care be keep yes women keep yes women um on um you know keep your eyes open with them right because many toxic you just look even though i talked about like uh in a recent podcast i talked about the new gender war you got one group of women going in on the other ones be careful there's a sliver of women there's a sliver of women who they seem like they're on the men's side right but they just hiding their stuff better because it was uh like the situation with the million man the original million man marched back in 95 Many women were there anyway. They weren't there to support. But as one woman straight up told me, there was a bunch of, you had a place where a bunch of men were. And you got, that's the game of some women. It's like, all right, you know, especially if they might not be as pretty. They're going to tell you what they want to hear, what you want to hear. So they're going to come in. A toxic one, she, she already know, she already knows she a bitch. She, she already knows. She'll probably tell you if you get to know her long enough. Right, but shoot, she think you she think you cute enough, and all of a sudden you gonna get cuter. She really think you like a good seven, but you know all of a sudden you gonna become a nine to her. You know, she think your ideas are whack, but she still gonna tell you they good. Deep down, she thinks she you're they're whack, cause you know a true toxic woman really doesn't have a high opinion of men anyway, but they still like dick. So. And they still like money. So it's like, all right, I got got to get some. I'm going to tell him what he want to hear. You know, I'm going to make him think he's knocking it out in the bedroom. All right? You know, whatever. It's like, and they might have, you might be one of many. And then you got the other type, you know, the money people, money women, acculturated prostitutes. Well, shoot, she got to keep that money flowing. And they smart. It was like, you know, if they come in like a woman who try and get money out of you, Unless you just like a super simp, like beyond a simp, it's like like simp nine thousand at nine thousand or something. It's like that's a full like simp ultra instinct or something, right? She she knows you ain't giving up no money if she gonna come in talking some shit. See how many? Let's be real. If you got a woman, right? And you know this is a mostly black audience, but it could apply to anything because you got toxic women in all races, right? But if you got a black woman, right, she's toxic, right? She meets some dude. She already know most women have given them hell. But she uh, also know this dude is making a quarter of a million a year, right? So she, shoot, she ain't going to come in starting some shit talking about, oh, black man ain't shit. She going to be like, damn, what's wrong with these women out here? Don't they know the black man is God? Shoot, that's how she going to come in. And she gonna pump it up, and she gonna tell you she gonna agree with everything, right? Until you like the money stop, or you have a major change in your job, then you'll see something, right? Because the thing with all toxic women, no matter what they do, they gonna show their colors. You nobody hides their colors long enough, that long. They gonna show some something, something's gonna happen that's gonna show it. I've never seen this to fail with anything. Even if the woman ain't toxic, whoever she is is going to show itself. And a lot of guys miss it because, well, the pussy good shit. Her dome game is off the charts. So you, you you be sitting back like, yeah, yeah, she done did some fucked up shit over there to one of her friends. And you ain't thinking that's going to come back and bounce, hit you. Or she might, she'll start revealing herself like in how she respond to other people. Because that's something that I pay attention to, right? Or, you know... She she looking at that other dude in your presence like a little too long or something or you know you find out like her true opinion on something like something happening with another man in his relationship and she might say something like yeah men just do shit like that and you know this is a woman that's told you black man was God so it's like hmm and so you got to be thinking all right let me pay attention see one thing I do one thing I do let me give you some advice on this. I take what women do with me and say to me with a grain of salt, you no matter what, until I get to observe them around other people. That's when I like know is she how she treating them, because that's going to tell you more about who she is. Or even better, what a woman if you somehow like, especially if you haven't messed with her yet, or she giving some act, try to see how she respond to other men. 
Like, if this woman's treating every other man fucked up, but treating you nice, some men let that go to the ego, but you got to think, damn, this might happen to me. It's, and it's the same thing I tell a woman. You got some dude, he beating the shit out of other women. You know, what makes you think he going to change up with you? See, don't get into that ego. Just sit back, pay attention. And it's like, you know, make sure your assets are protected. Make sure you wrap it up until you get comfortable. You can see, like, okay, she's for real. Uh, keep shooting. Have your own condoms. Shoot double up. Oh, and I'm going to tell you what, too, with that pregnancy game. I'm going to give you a little free game here, a little tangent game, right? Um, Try to get an idea about her cycles. Try to get an idea about her cycles, right? Like, I say, like, if you know her uh, cycle comes on the 27th, like, be very careful with that condom, like, the week before. Be very careful. You can still have sex with her, but be very careful. That's when she's her most fertile. And then also maybe her most fertile or the best time, the safest time for anybody is maybe a week after the uh, cycle is over. Because right away, they, they don't really want to have sex right away. They, you know, their uh, womanly parts are still, like, you know, cleaning up and all of that stuff. But, yeah, I say a week after the cycle, you got the best chance of not getting her pregnant. A week before her cycle, that's the best chance. That's when you better, hey, look, put that condom on carefully. And depending on the situation, even though she's her horniness, if you really get, feel anything in the back of your head that something ain't right with that woman, you know, find some other stuff to do. And in fact, uh, shout out to all and Roger Curry. That's some maybe you should even ask her. It's like, when you usually have your cycles? And I know some women get mad, but nah, be straightforward. Be like, look, nah, shoot, that's when you most likely get pregnant, so we need to know. And trust me, that rhythm method works. Trust me. Only kids Rom has are the ones, you know, I planned. So, you know, trust me, that rhythm method works. But that's a little bit extra. But whatever the case, find out about that woman. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. You know, you know, watch out for that woman's too complimentary or something. Like too complimentary. Or that she's always yes, yes, yes. A lot of guys get caught up into that. Those are going to be the worst ones. Because a real woman, she gonna at least, she ain't going to necessarily argue with you, but she will express a difference of opinion with you every now and then if, it's, if she's healthy and not really toxic. Right? She, that's how you know. But if she's always yes, 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 sums up. And you got to be paying attention to that. And some people might call that woman a pick-me or something. I'm like, no, that's how some toxic women get in. All right. So anyway, right, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.